What is up, everybody? It's your girl, Charlene FX, your favorite female trader, back with another car vlog, I guess. I don't have a name for these. I usually call them day in the life, but I don't really think this these car conversations count as a day in the life if I'm not completely showing you guys everything I'm doing for that day. But whatever. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. On um, This video is a topic that I got not too long ago and it kind of crossed my mind the other day so i decided to make um, a whole video about it which is being a uh, influencer a trading influencer a mentor all those kind of things because i actually get those questions quite a bit about uh, people wanting to become mentors coming out with their own educational courses and creating a, a business out of becoming a trader now i will give you guys my backstory when it comes to i cannot stand when people tailgate me it makes me want to just slam on my brake just so i could like tell you to stop tailgating me i can't stand that this freaking guy behind me is tailgating the hell out of me i have no idea why ridiculous anyway i'll give you guys my backstory on um how i fell into uh, becoming a trading uh, influencer, mentor, whatever you want to call it. That way you guys can get, you know, a little bit of insight on um, on how I fell into it. Now, when I first started trading, guys, um, I did not care about, I wasn't trying to become no mentor. I wasn't trying to have a course. I wasn't trying to do nothing. All I wanted to do was learn how to trade. I really did not care to come out with a course or to turn it into you know a whole business i just wanted to focus on learning how to trade which is what some people don't do nowadays they don't those that want to make it a business just focus on just making it a business and not actually learning how to trade first so the way that i fell into it was i began posting things about trading on my instagram and it wasn't to like, you know, show off profits or to brag about trading. It was more to show the friends and family that I had on my page, like what I was doing and how they could do it too. You know, how like, hey, I'm learning this new thing. You guys might want to take a look at it. You know, I just made a hundred bucks. I just made $75 or whatever in only a few minutes. You should give it a try. So that was mostly what it was for. And then I I had taken a break from posting like profits here and there. First of all, I wasn't even winning that much. So I wasn't posting too many profits. But the little bit that I was posting was, was, was good. But then I started posting like breakdowns mostly. I started posting more um, educational stuff because that's where my knowledge came from. That's where I was focused on. That's where I was doing the most of my learning was from the actual chart breakdowns and how I found entries, um, how I did, how I got really good at doing breakdowns and whatnot. So when I started posting those things online, people started noticing and people were asking me, hey, like, where did you learn this? Where did you learn? Where did you learn? So I would give them the names of my mentor. I would say I went to this person, I went to that person. I bought this course, that course, and then I, I studied. And little by little, people started telling me that they were not, they wanted to learn from me. They were interested in learning from this other person because first of all, they didn't know who that person was. They knew me. They had a connection, a personal connection with me. So it was like, I rather learn it from you because I know you know you know you know you're doing it. You know how to do it. I have access to you. I don't know who this other person is, so I rather learn from you. And at first, I was like, listen, I I'm not at a place now where I could be teaching people what I'm doing. I'm still learning myself, you know. So I was still kind of. I was still learning. I was still a student. You know, you're always a student, but it, I was like in the beginning stages of, of learning, you know, nowhere near confident enough to be teaching anybody anything, you know. So little by little by little, I started getting better at it, better at it, better at it. And then after a while, um, I kept getting people asking me, hey, can you teach me? Can you teach me? Can you teach me? So when I realized that, OK, I started teaching some close friends some close family and stuff like that i was like man this is very time consuming it was very time consuming so i said you know what 
I think I will come out with a course because people started asking me, do you have a course? Do you have a course? Do you have a course? And this is in the midst of me teaching, you know, my close friends and stuff like that. So I said, hmm, let me take a look into it because I did not see too many, because at the time, back in 2018, 19, there weren't that many like mentors in trading as there are now, at least in Forex. I don't know about the other avenues, but I know in Forex, there weren't too many. There was a couple that were, you know, big name people, but not too many. And the style that I was learning, which was straight price action, you know, scalping without indicators and stuff and such, you didn't see too much of that. A lot of traders were swinging, using a bunch of indicators, you know, all this kind of stuff. So the way that I was learning you didn't see too many people teaching like that. Matter of fact, the mentor that I learned from, which was Raja, the, his style of trading, I, he was the only person I saw that traded like that. I didn't see anybody else. And I scoured YouTube, the internet, everything. I was looking up everything, guys. When I was learning, guys, I watched every single YouTube video on, out, out there on Forex because I was that, like, determined to learn you know so i i tried my best to learn all of that so i watched everything everything every name you mentioned i probably know it because i watched everything so i did not see anybody trading his his style or his way or and he was the first person that i learned even the word scalping from because no one else really talked about scalping like that so I didn't see anybody else doing it. And then on top of that, I didn't see a lot of females either. I was like, man, you know, this is such a male-dominated industry. It was all guys, all guys. I did not see any females, let alone black females. So I felt like there was a hole, you know, there was a void in the market and or in, in the industry. And maybe I could fill that void. Maybe I could be a female so other females can look at it and say, hmm, you know, she's doing it. I wonder if I could do it too. You know, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to be like one of the first females to really take on the industry and really make, make us feel like, you know what? Us girls, we could do it too. We can compete with the guys too, you know? So... Um, so yeah, I decided to come out with a course and I, I didn't know, I didn't really know how to teach really. I just knew how to show what I was doing and what my train of thought was. And I would relay that same thing onto whoever it is I was talking to. So in reality, I wasn't really quote unquote teaching. I was just showing what I was doing. And if you learn from it, great. You know, because I was, like I said, still learning for myself. Damn, that lady's about to miss the bus. Darn it, that bus driver could have waited two minutes. Damn, I felt bad. He could have waited. It's hot as hell out here, too. That's messed up. So, um, so yeah, long story short, um, I decided to come out with it. And the name Simple FX, simple, simple, simple. It really stuck with me because I was like, hmm. All the other courses, majority of them that I had bought, that I had invested in, that I was studying from were really difficult for me. And they were difficult because they, I felt like they weren't being uh, taught or explained in a simple way so that even a five-year-old could understand. You know, it was very, a lot of big words, a lot of convoluted information. It just felt like a lot of fluff. And a lot of it was like, it didn't really correlate didn't really make sense to me in my brain it might have made sense to other people but for me at the time at the time it didn't really make a lot of sense and it was really difficult for me so I said I wish there was a course that was just simple like easy peasy like no big words no nothing just straight to the point tell me exactly where to do this exactly what to look at here how to analyze here like without all of that extra stuff and I said, okay, I couldn't find any other courses that was like that, even from the mentors that I was learning from. Their courses were great, don't get me wrong, but I wanted something different. I wanted something a little bit, if it was simple, I wanted to bust it down to the dumbest, the dumbest way, the dumbest factor, like the dumbest, dumbest, dumbest way you could dumb it down so that anybody could learn it and not be so intimidated by it too, because trading is so intimidating. It's so like, 
unreachable for some people. They feel like, I can't do this. I can't look at this. I don't know how to understand this and that. So once they find someone that can really bust it down and explain it to them, break it down to them in a way that is understandable and not so intimidating, a lot more people would feel like they have access to it. Because at first, when you start throwing these big words at people, these big things at people, and they can't even comprehend what the hell you're talking about it's going to turn them off they're going to be turned off to it like oh no this ain't for me i don't understand none of this this and that and then now they just lost out on an opportunity that if it was just explained to them a little bit differently they would have been able to grasp it and they might have succeeded at it so so yeah so i said i'm going to come out with a course that everybody can understand it's simple 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 and the word that that just did it for me was simple and I said okay I'm going to name my course Simple FX Academy and that's how I came out with the with the name of it and everything like that so of course I mean I think my trading style how I you know look at the markets obviously is one of the easiest ways and I hate to use that word easy because nothing about trading is really easy it's very difficult to, to be a profitable trader to be a trader, period, is difficult. Whether you're profitable or not, it's hard. So I hate to use the word easy because it gives off the wrong connotation. But at the same time, um, it all depends on how you're taught something. What you're taught is, is, is depending on we you know what avenue you're in, is one thing. But how you're taught that information is huge. It's huge because, like I said earlier, if it's taught to you in a way that's so confusing, it's going to turn you off. It's going to intimidate you and make you feel like you can't do it. But if it's taught to you like ABC123, it's like, oh, you're, you can let your guard down a little bit. You can let your wall down a little because you understand you actually that it's actually clicking to you, <laughs> you know. So. So, yeah, so I came out with the course. Um, it did really well. I got a lot of good feedback from it. Um, I actually gave out my course for free when I first started with it. Because like I said, y'all, I wasn't really looking at it as a business. I didn't even think it was going to be much of anything, honestly. It was more like, okay, I'll just do it, see what happens. If it great, does great, great. If it don't, it don't. I really didn't care. And it, it, did, it didn't cost me that much to create it. But it didn't cost me that much in money. But it did cost me a lot in time because... I had to come out and, and, and step by step by step by step, talk about candlesticks, talk about structure, talk about, you know, volume, talk about price action, talk about this, that, this, that, and then updating it as I learned more, as I grew more, as I, you know, began to see different things, I had to, you know, you know incorporate all of that into the course. So it was a lot. It, it, it was a lot in the beginning. So... It does take time. I did care about what I was doing because I wanted to have something that did not exist so that everybody else out there that was struggling with with trading um, could see that there was another way out there. You know, and not every course was the same. Not every mentor was talking about swing trading, catching 100, 200 point moves and all of that. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible so that everybody could see that there is another way. There is another way to learn it, and it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to, you know, um, scare you or nothing like that. So if you're someone who wants to come out with a course, who wants to be a mentor, please don't do it just for the money. Don't do it just like, oh, I, I just want to make a quick buck off somebody that, you know, whatever, because people work hard for their money. Um, it, you don't want them to feel like they got got or you are selling them a bill of goods or you're, you're just talking nonsense to them and you're just, you know, telling them it is what it is and whatever and you got their money and that you don't care anymore, you know? Another thing with my course that I, th I felt was different at the time that wasn't out there was one-on-ones, right? I was offering a one-on-one -on -one help with my course because the one thing, the one gripe that I had when I was starting out is every single course that I bought from no matter who the mentor was did not come with any like real help after the fact it was like okay buy my course good luck go on you, you got it do your thing and good luck and if you have questions oh, okay well here's the student group over here 
And it's like, well, yeah, that's a great. That's a student group. Everybody in there is still learning. So you want you, it's like the blind leading the blind almost. You know what I'm saying? And yes, there's some people that are more knowledgeable than others and, and other things. But you wanted the information. I wanted the information from the horse's mouth. I want to learn from you because you are, you're my mentor. You're the one I bought the information from, not these other people that are also trying to learn. You know, so I felt like, man, you know, I wish I could buy a course and actually talk to the person that is teaching so I could ask questions. And a lot of none of them offered that. Even the last one I got, which was Rajah, Rajah's was the last course I got, which was his in-person class. But that's another thing. It was in person. And in person, I could talk to you in person online. And with a course, it's kind of difficult to get a hold of somebody. But in person, it's different. So it was it was it's tough. So if you're looking for like you know, real specialized help where you think you might need it, I would definitely say invest in in in-person classes because there's no better way to get the person that you're learning from right here in front of you and you're able to pick their brain, ask questions and really get that specialized help that you think you might need. And for me, I needed that back then. So one of the things that changed changed my life with trading was the fact that Raja did a one-on-one with me, you know? And it was like, I I didn't ask for it. It was more like, uh, it, we, I was inside of his Slack family group, student group, and they call it the Slack family, but it's, it's student group. But he was in there, and he was very active in there every day, dropping charts every day, doing the live sessions every morning. So it was very interactive, and I just messaged him privately, and I said, hey, you know, I'm really struggling. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, and he told me what to do, and I was able to do it, and we did a, I did a one-on-one with him that went for like two hours, almost three hours. And... Um, after that completely changed everything for me so that one-on-one really did it for me so I said everything that I learned that works for me that worked for me I'm going to offer it to everybody else that comes to me to learn because I knew that's what made a difference for me so that's what's going to make a difference for them so if you're looking to become a mentor or come into the the niche as a as an influencer do it for the right reasons do it for hey this worked for me. This is how I learned. I'm, I stand by it. I believe in it. So I want to pass it on to the next person. Do it for those reasons. Not just because, you know, oh, I can get a bunch of followers. I can become popular, become online famous, Instagram famous, and, and you know, make a bunch of money just because of that. You know, really put out true value. Put out things that are really going to help people and do it for the right reasons. You know what I mean? And if it turns into something great, then do it. I encourage everybody. If you're truly passionate about it, I encourage everybody to, to do it. Because you, whether you become just a trader or a trader mentor, if you're passionate about it, do it. Because you might have something that could help someone that someone else doesn't offer. You know, uh, you might have a certain way of looking at the markets. You might have a certain way of explaining something that someone else explains, you know, because I can explain I don't know, price action, the next person can explain it and they don't understand it from me, but they understand it from that person, you know, and it's because of the way that that person explains it, period. And it just clicks with you. You want to find something that actually clicks with you and, oh, okay, this makes sense. I can can rock with this. Uh, Okay, now I get it. Now it's clicking. Now I understand. Now the little by little by little aha moments are are starting to come together for you and you're gaining a lot more confidence. Why? Because now you actually understand what you're being taught, you know. So, yeah, so offer things that other people are not offering. Make yourself available and make sure you're actually profitable, like you know what you're doing. Don't just come out with something and say, yeah, uh, enter here, get out here, and this is why, and that's it, you know. Make it so that people really understand what they're doing so they can become self-sufficient traders, so... You can feel good. You can sleep well at night knowing that I did my best. I put out as much as I can. And, you know, people are, are, are gaining from, from what I'm, I'm teaching them, you know. Um, and really put yourself out there. Have the confidence to put yourself out there. Have the confidence to speak up, you know, speak clearly. Um, understand what you're talking about. Make yourself available to answer questions for people because... It's a lot of people. Are, are, this niche cra- trading thing is huge. It's now online. It's digital. Everybody has access to it. You could trade any time of day, anywhere in the world. It's only going to continue to grow. So we're going to need more and more and more mentors because at some point it's going to get to be too much. You're only one person. You still have a life. So it's going to be get to be too much. So we can use more more people that know what they're doing, that actually care, that want to help people. 
Um, we can use a lot more of that. We can. So if you're someone that wants to, to do it, I say give it a try. Go for it. Be consistent. You know, YouTube is huge. Instagram is huge. TikTok is huge. So you have to, it's a lot of work, you know, putting out content, uh, educational content, lifestyle content, um, you know, living your own life outside of what you're doing. If you, you still have your job, if you have kids, if you're married, all these things, it's a lot to take on. So be ready. Be ready for a lot of, a lot, a lot that comes with it. And with the good, always comes the bad. You're going to get people that are going to doubt you. You're going to get people that are going to talk crap about you. You're going to get people that are not happy with the information that they got. They're going to think it's one thing and, and then say it's another. you got to have a lot of patience. You have to have a lot of patience with people. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Let me tell y'all, it is brutal to have patience with people. You're not people that are going to ask you some of the most dumbest things ever. Some of the most dumbest questions. Like, what the hell? And it's like, you got to like try to bite your tongue sometimes. And it's hard for me even to deal with it because I'm like, what? But then I got to think back and remember how I was when I first started out. But even then, I was like, I wasn't asking dumb ass shit like that when I was starting out either. So it, it is a, <laughs> it is tough. But is it impossible? No. Can you do it? Yes. Is it a struggle sometimes? Yes. Can it be stressful? Yes. Can it be overwhelming? Yes. But when you when you find people that message you, hey, Charlene, you really changed my life. Hey, Charlene, thank you for the live sessions. This These really helped me out. Hey, thank you for that one-on-one, you know, this and that. That's what makes it all worth it. That's what makes it. That's what makes you really feel good about what you're doing because you know, okay, even though I have this, this, and this over here to, to deal with and handle, I'm doing the right thing over here because I'm helping out these people over here. You know, if you've helped one person for the day, you've done your good deed for the day. You know, and it's, it's, you're not going to please everybody. Everybody's not going to be happy with you. I have people that are not happy with what I do sometimes or the things I say sometimes. And it's fine. You got to be who you are in this world and take it for what it is. Try to be the best person you can be. But, hey, we're, we're still people. We're still human. We still got to deal with the things we got to deal with every day. It is what it is. You just handle it the best way you can. Don't let it make you go crazy. Don't, don't let the money get to your head. Um, And some of you won't make any money, trust me, doing it because you got to be likable. People got to like you. They got to see the value in you as a person or the information you're putting out. Because people are even, you could have the best information out there. But if you're an asshole or you're mean or you're this and that, if people don't like you, they're still not going to rock with you. They're not going to buy your stuff. And there's no loyalty in this industry. People go where they think they're going to make money. If they think you have something that's going to help them make money, they're going to go to you. They, if they hear about it from a friend, family member, whatever, they're going to go there. They're not going to care about everything else. You know what I'm saying? So try to find your, your, your little way of, like, standing out and, and go with it. Rock with it and see where it goes. Give it a try. You know, life is about taking chances. Life is about taking risks, trying new things out, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Don't get discouraged if it starts slow. Um, just take your time with it and trust me you will start to see uh all the fruits of your labor start to start to come out come about and that's uh that's what i got for y'all if y'all interested in my course in anything that i offer um my private uh trade group that i give it's not even a signal group people think it's a signal group it's not a signal group guys it is a Trade idea group is what I like to call it because I just go in there. I drop charts on occasion. I'll drop video analysis on the trades that I'm looking at, the, the, the analysis that I see, the breakdowns and such. And all that information is in the description box below, um, as well as my broker as well, who I use. Um, and I extend the information out to you guys to always diversify. Don't focus on one thing. Don't focus on one thing. Don't focus on one uh, avenue when it comes to trying to make money always diversify always look for other things uh when you're trading always use multiple trading accounts multiple brokers um i don't i don't recommend trading multiple pairs unless you're a swing trader or whatever i always like to say one one pair one trade one session that's all you need that's all i need but if it works it works for you if it don't if you like you know have another stuff that's fine and it's okay to have a backup pair whatever but one pair, one trade, one session. That's all you need. All right. So that's it. That's what I got for this quick video. Uh, it went a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but uh, I do hope that you guys, you know, get as much as much value and information out of these videos 
uh, as possible because I only drop them to help. I only drop them to um, make sure that I'm doing my part with uh, helping out my community, helping out our niche, and uh, keeping, keeping, uh, keeping the faith alive for all of us. All right. So that's it. That's what I got for y'all today. It's your girl, Shawina FX, your favorite female trader. And I'll see y'all on the next one.